Hi everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand, internal medicine physician. There's one thing since the beginning of this pandemic that has baffled and frustrated me far more than anything else. And there have been many aspects of our COVID-19 response that we should have done differently since last March. But this one thing that I want to talk about today is the link between obesity and getting severely affected by COVID-19, which hasn't been talked about anywhere nearly enough. Those of us who work at the front lines have seen this since last March. If you are overweight or obese, you're much more likely to get severely ill and end up in the hospital. And this is a problem for many reasons, but not least because in the United States, rates of being overweight and obese have absolutely exploded over the last few decades, to the point now where 70%, yes, you heard right, 70% of America is now overweight or obese. And to be fair, many Western countries are fast catching up, including the United Kingdom, where I'm from. And this hasn't happened by accident. It hasn't happened because our genetics have suddenly changed. It's happened for two main reasons. Number one is we're way too sedentary. And number two, the biggest reason is that we eat way too much junk food. If you were to draw graphs of obesity rates by country and COVID mortality, you would see a direct correlation. Countries like the United States with high rates of obesity have fared much worse than countries with lower rates of obesity like Japan, South Korea, other countries in Europe. And the blunt truth is that 50 years ago, we would have been in a much better place in America to deal with this pandemic than we are now. And we know this if we look at pictures of our parents, grandparents' generations, back in the day when they're with other people, you can clearly see that people were in much better shape than today. The two biggest risk factors for getting badly affected by COVID-19 are number one, being of advanced age, i.e. elderly, or two, having chronic comorbidities, other diseases. But being overweight or obese is likely the third biggest risk factor overall. And in fact, in younger people, and I'm going to say younger is anyone under the age of 60, it's probably the single biggest risk factor. What should we have been doing differently then? Well, let's start with the media. I know we can't expect too much from the media. They're all about scaring people and clickbait. But if they genuinely cared, they would have literally had taped next to every news story on COVID-19 some lifestyle advice for people to also eat healthier and exercise more. That's if they really cared for the general population. And as for doctors, the medical establishment, well, our literal radio silence on this issue since last March has been shameful because doctors, physicians should have been shouting this message out from the rooftops, encouraging people to eat a more nutritious diet and be more active. Instead, what has society done? Well, we've done the complete opposite. We've driven ourselves indoors. We are more sedentary and we're eating more junk food and obesity rates have gone up. I'm at a complete loss here. I don't get it. What an opportunity we had since last year. We were already, even before 2020, suffering because of our obesity epidemic. Other diseases like diabetes, heart disease were, were going through the roof. But COVID-19 was the opportunity to drive home this message to the general population. And we missed it. I don't live in some fantasy land. I know that we're not going to wave a magic wand and suddenly people are going to start eating healthier and exercising, but we could have at least made a genuine, sincere effort. And even if 5 to 10% of people had made lifestyle changes, that still would have been something. And we can absolutely be sensitive in how we deal with this. We don't need to get up into people's faces and shout at them. We can gently reinforce this message. Most people want to be healthy and free of disease. I got into this profession, like most people, with a desire to help people. To be honest, I would rather they didn't have to see me and were living healthy lives free of disease at home. And this is the one factor which is in our control. How could we fail to address it? The media, the medical establishment has completely dropped the ball. It is inexcusable and shameful.